Hi, it's RJ. Welcome back to my mythos. Um, now this is an unusual video for me because I'm going to actually review a product. Um, so you might have seen the YSL uh, lipstick mixing machine thing that's been going around the internet. Um, I know that Robert Welsh has done a review on it, Manny MUA has done a review on it, and no doubt many other people far richer than me have done a review on it. Um, that's not what I'm reviewing today because I... I am not rich, <laughs> and so therefore cannot afford a ludicrous electronic device that mixes three colours of lipstick into very similar other colours of lipstick. What I can afford is something by a company called Go Play Cosmetics called the Lipskit 2.0. So this is a very similar idea to the YSL thing that's been going around. Um, in that it has bullets of liquid lipstick that get mixed together to make a unique custom shade of lipstick, liquid lipstick. But this baby here, um, I'm hoping is a lot better than the reviews I've seen of the YSL one, because this comes with five bullet spacers, a red, yellow, blue, white and black. Yes, those are the primary colours, plus white and black. <laughs> <laughs> which means the range of mixing is a lot better. It is an electronic, so it doesn't come with an app, but it does come with a website that you can pick your colour on and it tells you how to mix it together. So I'm going to have a go with it today. I'm going to show you what's inside here, what the thing looks like, how it works, and I'm going to mix myself a lipstick to go with this look that I'm wearing today. And then I'm going to go out and do a wear test. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a different video. Hope that's okay for you and that you want to stick around for it. So, without any further ado, let's see what's inside the GoPlay Lip Skit. Just something else to add before we get started. I've bought this with my own money. I kickstarted it uh, for the price I'm going to put here because I forgot to look it up before filming my intro. <gasps> and I have not been paid to um, review this. All opinions are entirely my own and I will give you them at the end of the video. Okay, so this is what you get inside the um, the box. Um, okay, first things first, ignore my fingernails. Yes, I need to redo my nail varnish. We're not here about nail varnish, we're here about makeup. Um, so, uh, I kickstarted this. Uh, this is what you initially got. So there's some moisture drops um, to put inside the lipstick to shear it out a little bit. There's five of these little pots for you to put your lipstick into, which have these adorable little lip brushes in the end. Um, five of them. And then this is the main package, um, which holds the uh, Lipskit 2.0. So it came in a little bag. Um, and this is it. So it's already significantly smaller and less complicated than the YSL thing that's been going around recently. That noise you may have heard in the background there was squeak knocking something over outside. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is the main piece of apparatus. You've got a another little pot on the bottom here. So you've always got one spare to cover the bottom and you can see the bottom of the colour bullets there. Just put that back on for a second. Um, if we open up the top, you can see the colours that we've got to mix with. So I've got uh, a black, a white, a blue, a yellow and a red in here. And these are all the um, cool winter shades. I did a little assessment um, on the GoPlay website before I bought this, or before it got sent to me anyway, because I kickstarted this. Um, and it's asked about um, you know, my skin colour, my hair colour, my eye colour, my undertones, all that kind of stuff to give me a um, a little bit of personalisation here. Whoop. There was um, like cool and warm and summer and winter and it assigned you one that it thought um, matched you best and I got uh, bright winter which is apparently the same thing as cool winter so I think it's that the red and the yellow are slightly different depending on if you're cool or warm and then the blue the white and the black seem to be exactly the same 
Well, that's the impression I get looking on the website for the bullets that you can reorder. So these are the bullets that sit inside. So this is where your colour pigment obviously is. Um, now it just slips back in there, and like I say, pops out the bottom. Uh, so I'll put the cap back on for a second. When I kickstarted it, I also put in a little bit more to get an extra purple bullet. So this is just oh, one of the bullets, but just in purple. So that lets me expand the colours that I can do. Um, put this in and replace uh, one of the bullets inside here, I'm assuming. Depends what colour you're wanting to mix, which bullet you'd replace. Um, but I'm not going to experiment with that today, I'm just going to uh, put that to one side for now. Um, so I can just focus on... That's my laptop in the background making noises, gosh. Very professional uh, over here in my mythos we are. Um, but yes, I'm going to just experiment with this today. So let's move some things out of the way. Um, I'm not going to play with the moisture drops because uh, I like a matte lipstick and as far as I'm aware these are more for if you want a sheer lipstick so they're for shearing it down a little bit but I like my whoop, knocked my tripod over I liked my I like my um, lipsticks nice and matte oh sorry I forgot to show you what this is as well so this is a little um, extra thing in there that gives you some of the whoop, some of the recommended colors um, that you can mix and how to mix them um, so we'll have a look at that in a second I'll pick one of these there is also the go play app where you can um, pick colors off a color wheel uh, so it's a little bit more um, there's a little bit more range of colors you can pick there so uh, yeah let's have a go at creating something so um, take the new bottom off and I'll take that little squidgy bit out so apparently um, we need to get these started first we just need to give them a few presses um, possibly warm them up so I'm just gonna go off camera for a minute and do that okay as you can see I got it working um, I did have a slight explosion when it came to getting the black to work um, so yeah I'll show you what I did and what I did wrong so that if you get one of these you can avoid it um, so the easiest way to get the bullets going apparently what you should be able to do Oh, just pop that there. What you should be able to do is just, you know, squirt that a few times and it'll come out because that's how the, the mechanism works. But because this has travelled to get to me, um, it's hardened up a little bit in here. And I found this little thing in the box that talks about how to get them started if that's happened. Um, there's a wonderful video that you can watch. So, you know, if you want to scan that, you can do and go and watch those. But I'm going to show you it now. So what you do is you get something like a pin and in the top here there is a little hole if it'll focus there it's not going to focus on it yeah there there's a little hole so you can stick your pin in there and you should be able to just pop this top off so uh, just keep pushing a longer pin might help but make it easy for you but yeah that comes off and that means you can get access to the actual pigment in here so what you do is you push this oh hang on right so my black exploded because this wasn't quite on tight enough so just give it a twist first just to make sure it's screwed in and then you push down on that to just force the pigment through a little bit okay and then you should be able to give it a couple of squeezes and eventually oh, might just need a bit more push on that one a bit more push and let's see if I can jump you in a little bit no it's not gonna stay focused if you keep squeezing ah there you go see how it's come out the end there Okay, and that's the pigment now running through the bullet. Okay, so just clean off the end and then pop the cap back on. Make sure it's the right way up. Yes, it is. Oh, in fact, I don't think it matters. Ah, there you go. 
click it back on and then that just sits back in your contraption okay so i'm gonna get rid of that um i can also confirm if you look at my knuckles it's definitely very long wearing um i got black and red all over my hand uh and i've just gone and washed it with soap and it's uh it's definitely staying so yay long wearing <laughs> okay let's move that out of the way um and let's give this a try so that's my bullets all in i'm gonna screw a little catching pot onto the bottom here okay uh oh hang on yeah that's all screwed on so the bullets should dispense into here now uh stand that there now let's see what color do i want to make um where's the thing okay so let's see what color do i want to be today so i want to mix up something that's a little bit unique to my collection um so how about the one that uses everything there is a one that uses everything okay let's try this sort of dusky purplish pinkish color so in order to do this it says we need three pumps of red one pump of yellow six pumps of white and one pump of black okay so this is the one we're going to do um now the ysl one that people have been reviewing obviously you uh you do this on an app and it does it automatically for you via wi-fi uh we are old school in this joint so this one just works manually no need for electricity and no need to pay you know the price of my entire mortgage uh to buy it <laughs> um okay so three red one yellow six white one black so find the red which is this one and we go one two three and that has pumped out some red into there one yellow one six white one black so white one two three four five six and one black one okay and that is pumped well i deserve that okay put them back in let's just uh put the lid on so we don't do that again uh okay so that should have dispensed everything out which yes it looks to have so now if i unscrew the bottom that looks like three yellow one re oh that's a lot of yellow that came out of that isn't it so that's got yellow red black and white i think the yellow might have been over egged a little bit there let's see what should it have been i know i've literally just done this but my memory is honestly terrible uh three red one yellow so that that yellow looks like it's dispensed as much yellow as it has red so this should be interesting but anyway okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get one of the brushes from the tops i'm obviously gonna steal this top and put this spare bottom onto here but i'm just gonna mix that round now and that should create the lip color that we picked out so let's mix it up nice and easily which is lovely so let's see it does seem to make a decent amount um by which i mean there's enough of it to wear and then take with me to top up as well but there's not so much that i feel like i'm wasting the pigment that is a beautiful color let's just uh oh that looks so nice right let's just do a swatch pretty okay oh that is so cute okay that's like a oh, that's beautiful that's like a very dusky pink um so let's see if that is what we uh, what we actually tried to mix so we tried to mix this one 
And we got... Okay, it actually looks more like the one above. But I think that's because of the red-yellow imbalance. So what I might do is just try and put a little bit extra red in there. I think we only got one pump of red. I don't think we got three. So I'm going to do a little bit on-the-fly colour mixing. And I'm just going to get the bullet back out by hand and just adjust the colour. So I'm going to do two. Test me theory. Ooh. Oh, hmm. now this is the problem. So that's not coming out. So I think there's something wrong with the red bullet. So hang on, give me a second. I think I might just need to work this a little bit more. Okay, so I uh, I think I fixed it now. I just uh, did the pull off the back and give it a pump trick again. So let's see if I can just put a couple extra squirts into this. Because like I say, I think it only dispensed one instead of three. So that's one, two, oh, off you come. Yeah, let's wipe that on the side of the pot there, that's fine. Just wipe off that quickly, pop it back in there. And let's try mixing that in again now, see if we get more like that darker dusky colour that we were, that we were hoping for. Oh. Okay, let's mix it in it's really nicely, like it's really easy to mix. Okay, so that looks mixed up. So I'm just going to wipe it on the edge a little bit so I don't get too much. And let's swatch that again with the new colour. Yes, that's more like it. That's that berry that we were looking for. Yeah, so that is more of a uh, purpley red berry colour rather than the, the pinkish berry colour that I want that we originally mixed. So let's see, is that more like what the chart said it would be? So we're going for this one here. Yeah, that's spot on. Wow, that's great. Okay, cool, brilliant. Okay, so this seems accurate, which is always nice. And uh, this is my lip colour for tonight. So give me a second to get back around the front of the camera and we will put it on. We have my custom mixed colour. I think this is going to go very well with uh, what I've done today. So to give you a little bit of a closer look, I have done a bit of a toxic waste-ish look with some pinks and some greens and um, please don't judge my inability to blend <laughs> this satin here I have no idea what happened but when I'm further away it looks good so don't judge me on my close-ups okay um, <laughs> thank you so let's put this bad boy on and see how it looks now, as a reminder you, you just saw it that I faffed around for a little bit so here is the colour uh, you can see it now under the actual ring light. Um, for some reason, I forgot to turn on my ring light when I was filming the last bit, so uh, that's a better representation of the colour. And as you can see, it's going to work quite well with what we've got going on today. Tiny little brush! I'm st I still love this. I think this is the cutest thing. Um, okay, so... Oh, I did realise, actually, um, just thinking while I was... Uh, just cleaning up the last bit. I have one of these, which is the um, little silicon spatula things that you can put like um, loose pigment on with or put face masks on with. I know some people use these for. I think one of these would probably be better for mixing up the pigments because um, you can get right in there and give it a good scrape round and you don't get as much mess on this little brush here then. Um, so just a suggestion, something I'm going to try in uh, the next mix that I do. Uh, you could also just use any other brush that you've got hanging around, but I do think one of these would be good because it's easy to clean as well. Anyway, just a little side note there. Let's have a go at putting this on. So, do you know what I didn't bring through? Didn't bring through a mirror. Give me a second. Goodness. Oh, you can't get the staff. All right, now that I have my mirror, let's shuffle closer to you and we'll put this on see what it looks like. Can you see me? Yes. 
Okay. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. That goes on nicely. I can guarantee I can confirm that this little brush is actually really nice to put it on with as well. Uh, as you know, if you've watched others of my videos, I'm not the cleanest lipstick putter on her. But that's gone on nice, and that was two swipes, so one here, one here. Um, that's opaque, as far as I'm concerned. So it's definitely got good coverage. Let's just do my bottom lip. I've got quite dry skin on my bottom lip. Uh, but it's covering it nicely. And as for the Sophia Nightguard test, it has covered the butthole. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, when I said I don't put lipstick on very well, that's what I meant. Oof. That's better. So here is what I meant with the dry lip skin, so this is never going to be quite perfect, unfortunately. We've got the rest of it okay. Got it to a point I am happy with, and wow. Okay, that is so pretty. Yeah, I really like that. That's super pretty. It was super easy to put on. Um, my little brush is a little bit covered, so I think if I was taking, you know, this little pot out with me, I would um, obviously clean that off on a bit of toilet paper or something, uh, just before I put it back in, so I'm not going to put it straight back in there. Um, but yeah, this is easy to work with. This is so, so nice. The formula is lovely. It goes on so nicely, and it's still drying down a little bit, so the dry down time is a little bit longer than some liquid lipsticks, but it's not ridiculously long. It doesn't feel that different to most of the ones I've used. Um, I've got a huge liquid lipstick collection. Oh my god. The, the point of buying this thing was to stop me buying random liquid lipsticks when I want to use it once for, say, one look and then never use the liquid lipstick again. Um, so I'm hoping this is a good purchase. Uh, yeah, okay, so that looks to have dried down. Dried down nicely. There aren't any cracks where anything's missing. Um, I get the feeling that it might be a little bit drying, just a very tiny bit, but uh, the moisture drops that came in the box, they are, that's obviously what they're for, to add that little bit of sheerness to it. So I think if you're not used to wearing liquid lipsticks, um, a, a matte liquid lipstick anyway, that, that would probably help, or I'm sure you could put a lip balm on top of this or something. Uh, so let's do a kiss test. Okay, there's a little bit of transfer. You can see it was obviously still a bit wet here, um, but not a huge amount. I'm going to ignore the, the wet bit. That was, oh, sorry, my nails are terrible. I do apologise. Um, I'm not really a grown-up. I just pretend on the internet. <laughs> not even then, because like, I tell stories about group mythologists and review glossy boxes, so I'm definitely not an internet, a grown-up. Anyway, We'll ignore that, because that was just where I hadn't dried down properly. There's a tiny bit of transfer, um, not a huge amount. And it hasn't taken anything off my lipstick, so as far as I'm concerned, that's fine. Whoever I'm kissing, they can get it all over the face, as long as it also stays on mine. So I'm going out tonight to do karaoke with a friend of mine. Um, so we'll see how it holds up to some food, some drinks, some very, very badly singing uh, Meatloaf songs. Um, today is the day that the news of Meatloaf's death broke and I am devastated because I'm a huge Meatloaf fan. So, um, you know, Paradise by the Dashboard Light in tribute. Um, I will let you know how it goes and I will do a final roundup, probably in a completely different face because I plan to be out late tonight. So hi there, welcome to my bedroom. It is actually the next day and I went out for karaoke. It was amazing. We um, we nailed Paradise by the Dashboard Light by Meatloaf. Um, <laughs> uh, I obviously did not film a conclusion to this video um, yesterday because I was a little worse for wear. Um, but I can confirm that the lipstick stayed on beautifully it's um 
did not budge all night. Um, I ended up eating... Um, God, I have no idea what I even ended up eating. I think it was... Oh, no, I, yeah, I ended up having a hot dog um, with, uh, uh, like, a barbecue sauce. And it stayed on through that. A little bit of bleeding around the edges, but, you know, that's understandable. Um, when it came to taking it off, it's a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> bit of a bugger to budge. Um, <laughs> because it's very, very long-lasting formula. Like, I cannot fault the formula. Um, so it did take, um, a bit of scrubbing, uh, but apparently I've, you know, I've looked, uh, into what their advice is and they recommend using an oil-based remover, which I don't have at the minute. Um, so I'm going to try using like just, you know, baby oil. Um, they do say for cleaning these little pot things that you should use something like olive oil or something. Um, I've still got lipstick left in there, so I'm not going to try that just yet because I, I like the colour that I mixed for yesterday's lip. Um, I've had another go with mixing a different colour today. I thought I'd go for something a little bit boom in your face. Um, so I did this, which was two pumps of yellow and one pump of blue. I hit the same kind of issue with the blue filter bullet as I did with the red, in that I think it wasn't quite pumping out enough blue, because this should be a darker green according to the little chart thing. Um, so I think this is only actually maybe half a pump of blue, but... I actually quite like the colour. I don't know if I'm going to actually wear this out today um, because it is a little bit... With my skin tone, it doesn't quite work. So I think I'm probably going to um, try remixing this a little bit and go for a darker shade of green. But just goes to show, it's not just berry colours. You can mix completely different, weird and unusual colours, which is exactly why I bought it because uh, I wouldn't buy a, a liquid lipstick this colour <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to adjust it if I decided I didn't like it. Um, so overall, yeah, I highly recommend the GoPro Lip Skit 2 um, to anyone who's wanting to mix up some different makeup colours. Uh, now, it is 10 to 9 in the morning. I am expected at a theatre in a half an hour <laughs> to do a get-in, so I am going to um, finish the rest of my face, adjust my lip, and actually uh, get ready to start the day. Um, but yes, I just wanted to pop in and give you my final thoughts. So here they are. Highly recommend. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever time of day and whatever day of the week you are watching this. Thank you for um, coming to my mythos. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've got a lips kit and what you think, or if this is something you'd be interested in buying, or suggest me a colour to try and mix up. That could be quite fun. I may even get a TikTok to actually do shit like that. Um, okay, thanks for coming to my mythos and I hope you return here soon. Bye!